So something I think a lot about is like, what are the big questions that we're asking ourselves, right? Not just like, we need to have women in our project. It's more like, like what's at stake for all of humanity using our technology? Like if women are left out of the conversation, when all this technology comes to the user, every user can actually use it. And that's what we want, right? We want every person on the earth using blockchain technology, no matter what use case it is. That means every type of person should be included in building that or else we're just gonna lose out on creating a better world for everybody. to Breaking Good. Could you tell us a little bit about you, what you're doing in the space, and a little bit of your background? A little bit about me. I do two main things in crypto. So I sort of have two jobs. My day job is called um, Web3 Cloud. I co-founded that in 2018, and we build uh, multi-chain infrastructure for Web3. And then my night job, I say, or like what I moonlight as, is Shifi. So what Shifi is, is it stitches together education, experimentation, and community. So it's really focused on making sure you learn everything you need to know to navigate this space and also make sure you're also using the different protocols in this space and getting comfortable. And on top of that, it's a community for women and non-binary folks. Can you tell us a little bit how did you get into the space? Yeah, that's a great story. So uh, 2016, I was at IBM Watson and I was in like this big corporate strategy meeting and somebody in the meeting kept talking about blockchain, like blockchain, 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 blockchain. And other people were like, oh, that guy won't shut up about blockchain. And I was like, oh, maybe I should learn about this. So I went to Barnes & Noble, which is a bookstore. I know we all buy things online, but I went to a physical bookstore. <laughs> <laughs> Picked up the blockchain revolution. It was all about the use cases, cross-border remittances, supply chain, identity. And I was like, wow, this is super exciting. So I was like, okay, I think I need to leave IBM because I, I know that I have to be in this blockchain space. So yeah, that's kind of how, it, how I fell in and I've, I've only gotten deeper. I think crypto is like my life 24-7. <laughs> Same for me. Are you an optimist? I'm a big optimist. You know, when I first joined the Ethereum world, I didn't even really know there was a token. Like I was super bullish on the use cases, like transforming people's lives and really excited about this idea that we could have these like global systems that really uplift people all over the world, whether it's for payments or how they identify themselves, um, ways that were not possible before, and like to help against the like, corruption of governments and all that stuff. So I really saw it as a tool to empower people, and that's like what I'm all about. What type of world do you want to leave to future generations? I want to leave a world that really focuses on value abundance and value creation, not value extraction, right? I want people to feel financially empowered. I want them to feel confident about the way they build their wealth, about the way that they build communities, that it's not a race to the bottom, that it's not one person has to win, that if we actually all band together and contribute and create things together, that we'll actually all have value. Well, Maggie, thank you so much for being here with us today. And let's build a better world. Yes, thank you, Anu. Yeah. <laughs>